are, um, well, taught as absolute fact in schools, in movies, in uh, media, and so on and so forth. And uh, my goal is to try to relax and be myself and not pay any attention to the camera. Uh, but, you know, I'm already, my heart's already pounding. So potentially uh, going to be going out on YouTube. We can edit some stuff out. If I say anything, that's, you know, um, over the line. Uh, anyway, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to start off today with a video. We're going we're to talk about uh, the topic. The title of every lesson is going to be Evolution Isn't Settled Science. So is it settled science? What do you think that we're going to basically is going to be the premise of what we're doing? What do you think is going to be the main point? What are we really going after here? Can you prove it? Can you prove it? I mean, what is the evidence? I mean, is it really fact? Is it settled science? And one of the main things we're probably going to be focusing on is this idea of what is science? What is science? And I got it worked into this first. Uh, this first message is pretty short because actually um, it's not even an argument. It's really not an argument. The evolutionists agree that we're right on this one. Uh, and so it's not even going to be that difficult. So in this one, we're going to actually talk about what is science. We were working on it in Sunday school, but CJ uh, erased my scientific method that I had written on the board. But uh, anyway, so we're going to cover... You guys look more nervous than me. How many? <laughs> These guys are all sitting up here, like straight face, like... Where's the hidden camera? I know it's right here. Anyway, no, no, it's fine. Listen, listen, it's fine. This is all experimental. We're all experimenting, and, and but you know, we'll see how it goes. So we are on camera, right? Like right now. We're gonna be on TV. So at any rate, um, at any rate, so we'll, we'll just see how it goes. But at any rate, be yourself. That's part of the whole thing is to just be yourself and relax and That's not a good interact idea. a little bit, but don't go crazy just like you normally. Anyway, so we're going to be asking the question, is it settled science? Today the topic is very simple. Uh, it's called abiogenesis. Who is scholarly and can tell me what is abiogenesis, not my wife? I'm scholarly, my but I don't know what that means. What is, are you, what is abiogenesis? It's a biogenesis. That's true. Good point. It's not. It's not biogenesis. So what is biogenesis? <laughs> it's the opposite of genesis. Oh, you guys are killing me. <laughs> well, no, not really. Bio. Genesis no. means what? Life. Life. And what is bio? Oh, I'm sorry. No. no bio. Genesis. Bio is life. So what's genesis? Beginning. So it's the beginning of life. And so biogenesis is basically life comes from what? Other life, right? That's what we observe. That's what we can see. That's what, um, that's common sense. You don't even have to be a scientist to understand that life comes from non-life. So what is abiogenesis? What is a? what is not? Yeah, so here, very important to understand the topic. The topic is abiogenesis, meaning that life arose originally from non-life. That's what we're going to be covering. So, what does, before we even get going, we're going to watch a short video. This is a short one. It's like four or five, eh, it's six minutes. I'll just be honest. It's six minutes. But uh, it's actually pretty good. I think it's good. Let me ask you this. Uh, I know most of us are, I'm pretty sure most of us uh, are, are Christians. We believe the Bible. We believe uh, that God created the heaven and the earth. There may be some that are holding out on us that would never dare say it, uh, lest they be wrangled up and wrestled and debated to the submission. Amen. This guy. Uh, but at any rate, uh, at any rate, what is the mainstream or the what you would learn in school or what you would learn in college? What is the mainstream scientific community accepted answer for where did life come from? I want to hear your ideas and your thoughts. I want even if you didn't go to public school, uh, what do you know about what are they what are they teaching? What are they saying? A big bang. Come from Talk about specifically about the beginning of life. They believe that. How, where did life come from? Um, life came from uh, a, a small little organism that uh, grew and it like started like as a fish and then it went. To That's evolution. What about where did life come from? Well, it's not life. You started with a living organism. You started with not a living organism. Like, huh? Lightning struck a mud puddle. Lightning struck a mud puddle. What are some other ideas? Are there, are there other ideas? You know, one of the main ones is lightning hit a mud puddle or a uh, primordial soup is the common word. What are some other ideas? That's not the beginning of life, but it is considered the beginning of the universe, and we are going to cover the Big Bang. Well, our school teachers said came from that living started well, I don't, I don't think she said that, Wardy. Okay, uh, I could be wrong. I wasn't there. Uh, any other ideas? Any other ideas? This is okay. You can. See, the camera will not see your face, so you will not be embarrassed. 
No, I can't see anything. Okay, good. Uh, it's not even on. Uh, what are some ideas about the beginning of life? How did life begin? Can you tell us? Yeah, I want it. There's a reason I'm asking you. There's a reason I want to hear what you say. Because there's a reason. Can you think of anything besides primordial soup? Lightning hitting primordial soup. Can we include God? No, you can't include God. This is public school. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> They're afraid to laugh at my jokes. Usually, that would have them laugh. Okay. Uh, okay. So, okay. So, no other answers. Anybody? Anybody from the educated crowd? Any other answers? I gave you an answer, so does that mean I'm educated? <laughs> so, so here, here's here's why I asked that question. Here's why I asked that question. We only came up with one answer. <clears throat> what What do you got, Dev? That we started off with the building blocks of life, and then something happened that put it all together. By Where at? In, a, in like a primordial soup? Yeah. Moved by lightning? Allison said aliens. <laughs> Ali aliens is actually more popular than God these days, by the way. Uh, we're going to see that in the video, actually. It's kind of interesting. Okay, so, all right, the reason I said all that, it's a long introduction, but here's what I want to get you thinking. I want you to... We're going to find out in this lesson, I'm kind of giving it away a little bit, that even the mainstream scientists will admit this fact. And you're going to see, Richard Dawkins is about to tell us this. Nobody knows how life began. There is no science whatsoever, observable, testable, repeatable um, science, right? Real science, not science, but that actually has any clue how life began. There's been no experiment to create life, no intelligent being with all the advances in technology, with all the advances in scientific knowledge. They have not been able, with all the great intelligence, to create life, yet um, still, uh, so, so that, that's established, we understand that, that's mainstream, nobody knows, anybody will admit, we do not know how life began, nobody knows how life began, except we obviously believe in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, he made man after his own image, he created all that there is, by him all things consist. We know that we believe that, but here's what I'm saying, even though, even though scientists will admit that we have no idea, they're still teaching you something about it. That's why every single person in here, for the most part, believes... And I know we're Christians, we don't believe this, but have heard of, are familiar with this idea that long ago in a land far, far away, there was some sort of water and some sort of molecules and they were zapped by lightning and some primordial soup and life began in that way. So even though they have no idea, there's still an idea that they're teaching, okay? So that, that's kind of the purpose. And we want to know, uh, so that's the... the They'll admit it's not fact, but it still permeates our mind. Okay, so we're going to go after that. We're going to go after how did life begin, and we're going to ask, is it settled science? So we're going to watch this video. Uh, Richard, anybody want to just tell me who Richard Dawkins is real quick? He's a scientist. Is he? I'm just kidding. Yes, <laughs> he, he is a scientist. He would call himself an uh, ev evolutionary biologist, which means he has nothing to study. Amen. Because uh, there's no such thing. Anyway, amen. All right. Uh, and so... At any rate, um, he's actually, beyond that, he's, uh, he's very well known in the atheistic community. He is probably the foremost leading uh, atheist hero in the world. He is the speaker on behalf of atheism. He's wrote several books, one called The God Delusion. We're going to hear about that in this book. He's not a big fan of God, primarily the Christian God. He says he doesn't believe in any God, but he really only makes fun of um, the Christian God in front of Christians. He doesn't. I'm stealing this from Rabbi Zacharias, but he doesn't go to Saudi Arabia and make fun of Arabs for their God. Um, interesting. Uh, but anyway, uh, so uh, we're going to watch this. We're going to see what he says about this question. We're going to try to answer the question: Is uh, the origin of life? Is it settled science? So let's, let's see. Oh, I didn't grab the speakers. <laughs> 